here, buddy. We're doing it! We're doing it! <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I recently received a message from a fellow RV8 owner, Chad Cody. He also does 3D printing and he has been working on an iPad mount for the back seat of an RV8. He reached out to me and asked me if he could send one and I could do a review on it and uh, see what it looks like and maybe help his sales because he's thinking about uh, creating a store and selling these for several different iPad models. I guess you could probably do any of them. I said, sure, yeah, send me one. We both had talked about there isn't anything really specific for the RV8. Guys have made things. I'm using a RAM mount with a side arm that's connected to the roll bar. And then I've also found that with any of the G's I pull, that arm would drop down a little bit. So I drilled a hole in the back of the mount and used a zip tie to kind of secure the one corner, which has really helped, but not specifically designed for the RV8. And so that's what uh, Chad is trying to uh, fix. So I told him the iPad model. I thought he would just send just a um, generic version, uh, maybe a, a gray, whatever color, and uh, send it to me. So I got home from a trip yesterday, and uh, there it was in my uh, mailbox. So I pulled it out, and this is uh, the packaging. It comes with a uh, really nice um, detailed description of what it is. I don't know if you guys can tell right there. Uh, he designed it to look like the Man of War. So the tiger striping, he did a two-tone gray with a red inset in the plans. Has all the dimensions, and you can see uh, kind of how the mount and everything goes. So this is uh, what it looks like. Man, it looks phenomenal. Uh, really cool. I wasn't expecting it, especially with the Man of War in there. Um, for those of you who are familiar with 3D printing, I don't have one, but I've done a lot of research on them. Um, it prints with a various different types of material, whether it be a plastic, a PVC. I think they, they have aluminum now that they can use, um, carbon fiber, all kinds of stuff. I'm not sure what this particular product is, but it's two-tone with a light gray, dark gray, or light gray and black, if you want, with the Man of War red inset that goes all the way through both sides. The textures... Pretty standard for 3D printing. You get a little bit of lines, although this one looks really nice. So the quality of this printer must be very well. It's got uh, a, a connection, or, or I guess maybe what you want to call a lip or retainer edge on the top. Two little ones on the bottom, one on the side of the right side. On the left side, this one comes out, and it's got either magnets on either corner or pieces of metal inset, same with the mount over here too, but it's a magnet of some sort on either top or bottom and it snaps into place. And then there's two screw holes up here for recessed Phillips. Actually, I think they're uh, the Allen wrench screws on the mounts. He's got them threaded in there with uh, threaded inserts built in. So I take these two out and I'll put this one on the right hand side underneath like that and this one on the other side underneath like that which exposes the red handle which allows you to adjust the angle of the mount so he's got a screw up on the top here one here which will let you open up this clamp this will go around the roll bar behind the seat and then the mount will be mounted underneath basically right underneath so there's the uh, mount to the left would be forward of the aircraft so the iPad is going to be mounted right underneath the roll bar, um, which is really nice. It saves a lot of space. And then you can adjust this angle to get what you want. Tighten it up with the uh, red handle on either side, left and right. And uh, it looks like a perfect angle. So to get it in there, you just take out the, the one end. And then I got my iPad uh, mini here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So basically, you slide it into the mount, and it's secure. I'll slide it all the way, and you can see it's secure here, top and bottom, uh, really nice. And then I'll slide the other one in over here. The magnets hold it in place, and uh, yeah, it's secure.
Boy, that's really nice, the way it's built. Easy to get in and out. You just have to lift up on that and slide it out in reverse order. But the magnets hold that in place. It's fairly tight on these clips here. It's got an opening on the end, so I'll be able to put my power cord in there. So yeah, I'll uh, let's take this out to the uh, hangar. We'll throw it in the uh, airplane and see what it looks like. All right, guys, I took a little time, got it installed. For those of you who had followed my blog when I did my builder log, you may have remembered that I had used a couple what I called stays, and they were these clips. Basically, they hold a um, one of those drawer dividers that I put all my rivets and stuff in. This would get mounted to the wall so that the uh, tools or that divider box wouldn't fall away. So it was a safety thing, but I had them left over because I didn't use them. I cleaned them up a little bit and I used it so that it fit around my shoulder strap. And I did that up underneath the roll bar, threaded uh, a couple screws in there to keep my shoulder harnesses from sliding down, which I hated the way those looked on other guys' airplanes. They would fall down and not be positioned. So I used these. Um, problem with this mount was that it fell right where my little retainers, my little stays, if you want to call that, uh, were in the way. So I thought, oh, no, it's not going to work. I tried mounting this off to the side a little bit, but the bend here um, prevented it from sitting properly. So I thought, hmm, not, not going to work. I thought about it for a few seconds. And I used these to keep the shoulder harnesses from sliding down. I thought, well, why don't I just use the two mounts to sandwich them in between? They can still slide inward, but that wasn't the issue. The issue was them sliding outward. Now they're a little closer together than before. So I mounted it, jumped up in the front seat and to see if I was having any issues. It worked fine for me, perfect. Um, so that was solved. So I took my stays off, mounted this, uh, and I'm real impressed. It grips really tight on here, the roll bar. You can push it up out of the way, which is really nice. So getting in and out of the back seat, and then you can find the position that you want. So here's the iPad. And I have to do a little bit of finagling there because it's tight space, but once I get there, it slides all the way in and have to just do the last little snap and then the last piece magnets in and boom there it is and then my charging cable will fit right through that hole in the side and that's secure i'm impressed the only suggestion i just had i don't know if it makes any difference but the sandwich between these two spots so there's two lugs if you will on the it looks like maybe the bottom portion or maybe the top and then one in the middle and as you tighten the red threaded part it squeezes they're pretty tight right now i, I bet i can get them a little tighter um so it's got a little bit of play i mean it's not terrible i think it will be fine i really like the ability that you can just do that and get it out of the way when you're climbing in and then the passenger has the ability to adjust this in flight as needed for um the glare whatever however they want to view it i'm just real impressed i i would recommend this to anybody um i will leave uh i will leave the description and the email for chad in the the comments below so you can reach out to him directly from that email uh, i don't know what he's planning on charging like i said he sent this to me for free uh but i like i said give you my honest opinion of it I think there can be some improvement in that tightening mechanism maybe to keep it secure. I think as it sits right now, unless I can get it tighter, maybe with a little bit of pliers, but then you, you run into the problem of it not being able to move in and out of the way. Not that that's a deal breaker, but um, I think as it is right now with the friction I have on it, pulling three or four Gs in low passes and stuff may get that to swing out. I don't know. I haven't flown with it yet. Um, I'm real impressed with the quality and his his design skills, um, it seems very solid. The iPad's solid in there. I mean, it's it's not going anywhere. He designed it really well, and it comes out really easy. Um, the, I think the, the looks of it is really cool. The number one feature for me is this, the ability to slide that up out of the way. Because um, I've seen guys build things here, 
out of aluminum, very creative. But you, anybody who's gotten into the back seat of an RV8 knows how tight it is sliding down. I'm five foot eleven, and I've had guys over six foot, six foot two, six foot three. You got to wiggle your knees down in here, and anything that's in this way is impeding that. It makes it a challenge. It's not a deal breaker, but this feature, boy, that really that knocks it out of the park. Um, well done. Uh, so again, he sent it to me for free. I didn't have to pay for it. I don't know what he's going to charge for these. Um, I, I think he wants to get this up and running. It's it's a great product. Little room for improvement. Um, I don't know if he's going to offer customization like that of what he's going to charge for it. Uh, it'd be worth it because that looks awesome in this airplane. Um, yeah, I can't say enough about how cool it looks. So let me unplug it, turn it off. Let's see if I can do this one-handed here. I'll slide it kind of out of the way. It kind of slides underneath my roll bar there. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at that, how cool that looks. It just adds a, a cool touch. Matter of fact, I may take the iPad out all the time and have it tucked away, and then so that is looking right there. Pretty cool. So anyways, uh, it's, it's rainy and uh, leaves are falling and I've got a mess on the hanger here in Illinois, you know, falls here. It's not super cold yet. It's getting to the 50s. But yeah, look at all these leaves. We have a big, beautiful tree in the backyard. I love it. It's beautiful, but they're all falling. Leaves everywhere. Leaves off of those three birch trees. Leaves get out here. So I've got a lot of leaf picking up. It's cloudy today. I've got next couple days off. If I get an opportunity to fly, I will go out and fly with it and see how it performs. I think it'll do well. Um, yeah, so I'll leave all the stuff in the bottom. The comments uh, with the email address, the description, uh, some photos maybe if I can get those on there. But like I said, I'm not sure exactly what he'll charge um, for the way it looks and how it mounted uh, in the colors for my airplane. It's worth every penny that uh, if he started charging, I, I would pay for it. So anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. I'll hopefully get another couple videos out. And as always, click the subscribe button. If you haven't, click the bell icon if you want to be notified of these videos popping up. And uh, yeah, fly safe out there. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.